Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a recreation of the look that I wore on my birthday, which was last Friday. I turned 21 and I was in Nashville. It was super fun. So, you know, I was kind of limited on the products that I had. I just had whatever I brought with me, but I picked up some new palettes before I went to Nashville, so I kind of got to play around with those. But of course, this is a bronzy, smoky eye, no surprise. But I, of course, I wanted to do something I was comfortable in and knew that would look good because it was my birthday. And yes, yeah, it's just kind of like my birthday glam. If you guys would like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already put moisturizer on and I already primed my face just to get this video going. But I used the Tatcha water cream for moisturizer. And then since I'm out of my favorite like primer right now, like as you guys saw in my favorites video, the No Pore Bone Primer, I just ordered a backup. But I also picked up this Micro Blur Skin Perfector from Kiehl's. Um, so I'm trying it out and that's what I put on. It's just like a smoothing primer, it's just kind of like the touch and sew, but it's just more expensive. But it feels like really similar to that one, so I'm sure I'll like this one too, just like I like the other one. So for foundation, um, I wanted to make sure that it lasts all night or we were there in Nashville. So I mixed the double wear because this foundation literally doesn't budge until you take it off. And then I mixed it with my... Dior Forever Foundation. Um, I've just been loving mixing foundations right now, and this one's more pink and this one's more yellow, so when I mix them together, I kind of get the perfect balance since I have a more neutral undertone. So those are the foundations we're going to be using. So I'm just going to take my Morphe Y7 brush and just buff this on the face. For the concealer, I'm going to use the Better Skin uh, My Maybelline in Ivory, and then I'm going to use a little bit of this Tarte Shape Tape just right in the inner corners, and this is the shade Fair Neutral. Sometimes I don't like to use like the huge doe foot applicator that they have on the Tarte Shape Tape, so I just take the other little doe foot, and I get the product that I want, and I put it right here in the very inner corner. I don't want to put too much of this on because it's so full coverage. Then I'll just take my damp beauty sponge. This is the one by Morphe. Um, and I'm just going to blend everything out. And then just to set where we put the concealer, I'm still using the number 7 powder. So this is the translucent. I'm just going to take that same sponge that we used for the powder and just set under the my eyes and all the other places that we used the concealer. I'm not going to put too much powder because it will just emphasize my dry skin. So I've just been like lightly setting everything and then brushing it away. Okay, so now I'm going to take this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. And with this powder, I'm just going to take this stippling brush and just take a little bit on my brush and just kind of dust this all over my face just to give my skin like a nice healthy glow. I really haven't changed up my face products that much since my last video, like my everyday go-to look. Like the face box is pretty much the same, but I still wanted to show you guys like the full routine I did for my birthday and so that we can move on to eyes and that's what's really going to be different. But I still wanted to show you like what I do to get like that, you know, full coverage, flawless finish, just in case you didn't watch my last video. So sorry, there's some repeats of products, but that's just what I've been using and that is what I used. So I wanted to, of course, recreate that look with the products that I used from that night. So for bronzer, I'm going to be using the um, number 7 bronzer in Maple. <laughs> I'm just, I love this bronzer. Again, if you haven't tried it, go pick it up because it's not that expensive. It's like 11 or $12. And I'm just using this big e.l.f. powder brush with it. For blush, I'm going to be using the Rose Dioro blush from Milani. It's just like their baked blush. And I'll be using a Morphe M530 with this. This also has like, since it's that baked formula, it kind of has like a sheen to it. So it kind of helps give that glowy look as well. And then for contour, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this MAC Sculpting Powder in Sculpt with this Sony Kashuk brush. Um, I'm just going to use the tiny bit. A 
Okay, for highlight, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Casey Holmes palette. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, this is like a repeat of products from the last video, but this is just what I have with me in Nashville, so this is what I used. And I just mixed the first two, and this is what I'm going to be using for highlight. It's super pretty, and you can build it up to be really intense. And I love a really intense highlight. So now we have all the powders and like face products on, I'm going to go ahead and set my face and so they can kind of be melting into the skin before moving on to eyes. So I'm going to be using the MAC Fix Plus um, spray, pow spray powder, <laughs> the spray, and this is what we're going to use to set our face. Okay, so the two palettes that I brought with me to Nashville was the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette, which I showed you guys in my favorites video. I really like this palette. And then I also brought with me the Colored Wayne, Colored Wayne. <laughs> I also brought with me the Colored Rain um, Queen of Hearts palette. Um, and this is so pretty. This is what I used on my lid for my birthday. It's so pretty, so I'm so excited to recreate this look for you guys. I love colors like this and like a bronzy, like smoky eye. And then you have this nice dark color right here too. I just love it. So we're going to be playing with both of these palettes. I'm sorry it's not like all one palette, but this is just what I use. So just to set the eyes to get them ready for eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking this air shade right here. So for the transition shade, we're going to be using this Royal Prerogative shade right here. And these shades from the Queen of Hearts palette are really pigmented, so you can really just tap off the excess so you don't put too much because they're super pigmented, but they blend out really well too. Okay, now jumping into the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette, I'm going to be taking this reddish shade right here. This is called Freshly Toasted, and we're going to be taking this on an R38 brush. Now just to darken up that outer crease, we're going to be taking the shade Duchess from the Queen of Hearts palette. It's just kind of like a dark, chocolatey, kind of purple tinted brown. And I'm just going to put this right in the socket. Okay, so now I'm going to take this Too Faced Glitter Glue. If you have the NYX Glitter Primer, that works too, but I just got my hands on this, so I want to use it. Um, but it's just a glitter base, or you can use Fix Plus or Wet Your Brush with any setting spray, and that should do the trick. But we're going to be taking this Royal Highness shade right here. It's a super bronzy shade. I love these types of colors. So first we're going to take the glitter glue, like I said. I'm just going to be using this flat brush. So we're just going to be doing one eye at a time. So I'm going to start laying down this glitter glue. And this just makes the eyeshadow, you know, stand out more and really adhere to your eye so it's not going to move throughout the night and get glitter everywhere or, you know, transfer. It's just going to stay in place. And now going back in with the Cocoa Bloom palette, I'm going to be taking Beans Are White. <laughs> what a weird name. Just to darken up that very outer crease, just to make it more smoky and more nighttime. Now just to highlight the brow, I'm going to be taking Bittersweet, just, it's just like a matte bone shade, and I'm just going to be highlighting the brow bone. And 
And then just to smoke out the lower lash line, like I always do, we'll be taking Royal Prerogative and Duchess, the two brown shades that we use on our lids. I'm going to be taking them and smudging them underneath. Then I'm just going to put some wing eyeliner on and then my lashes from Flutter, the intoxicating ones. I wore these for my birthday and they're so pretty. I think they're appropriate for nighttime. And then I'll be back to finish off this video for you guys. Okay, so I also did my brows as well. I forgot to mention that, but I used the Anastasia Dip Brow in Medium Brown. And now we're just going to move on to lips. So you can really do any color with this look because it is just like a bronzy, smoky eye. So you can really do any lip. You can do a full lip, but I chose a nude lip for this look. So I'm going to be using Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Ludwig. It's just like a nice everyday nude. I love her formula, but I do find with most of her liquid lipsticks, especially the lighter colors, well, even some of the darker ones, you really need to do two layers of it. So I'm going to let this layer dry, and I'll go back over it again one more time. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I really just wanted to recreate the look I did on my birthday, turn 21. This is just kind of what I did and what I had, so I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I did. Of course, it's something like super crazy or colorful because it was my birthday and I just wanted to do something really glam and what I was comfortable in, but it was new palettes that I was using. So I just kind of want to show you guys what I did. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what other videos you want to see from me down below. Do you want to see more looks with those palettes or what are some new things that come out that you want me to review? Just let me know down below and I will for sure do that for you guys. So please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!